What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Coffee Break. We're on episode number six. And if you didn't see the last episode, please go check it out on our channel. But today, we're gonna be in a 2020 Maserati Levante. This is a, a four door, 300 and about 45 horsepower. It's 330 pounds of torque, I believe as well. 20 inch rims. It's, it's Maserati's first time doing a, a SUV style. It's, it's not a, a seven passenger like the X7 was, but it's just a four seater, simple, fine. We're not gonna get in depth of like all the features and stuff like that, but if you saw the last episode, we were in the X7 and this is almost similar in its, in its same class as far as the price range. They're almost the same price but I believe in, in my opinion, the X7 has a lot more to offer. Now, as far as engine, this engine is a freaking monster. It roars like a lion on the road. But technology wise, I was not too big, you know, on technology, but it does have AirPlay and Android Auto, which is pretty cool. The, the infotainment system is, is not all that great, you know what I mean? Because it's just using the, the mobile device's uh, uh, setup, OS. Whereas the BMW X7, which we were in the last episode we were in, that one has its own, you know, infotainment system, own OS, um, OLED display, all that stuff. So all those nicks and crannies that the X7 has, this doesn't have it. But it's, it's kind of similar, you know what I mean? The rides are two different types of rides but the car is is dope we're gonna be meeting up with a friend that i'm actually gonna meet him up for the first time as well uh andrew chavers who is an artist and we're gonna get to know him a little bit more and we're gonna go into a coffee shop and just have a nice little sit down and chat with him get to know him who he is and what does he do what his craft is art how he started and all that stuff so stay tuned as we continue with this coffee break episode Pleasure to meet you, man. Yeah, Jonathan, man. Hey, nice to meet you, bro. Come in, bro. Thank you for continuing watching the episode. We got Andrew Shavers with us. And uh, we're here, man. We're going to the coffee shop now to get get to know him a little bit more, man. And how, how you been? How's things going? Good, man. I hear you, bro. I hear you. You know, I, I, I came across uh, uh, your post. You know, on, on Instagram, I, I forgot how I, I came across a post. It was maybe from someone else, but I think one of one of the one of the ones that that caught my eye was the Meek Mill post that you did, yeah, yeah. because I was already you know um, watching the Amazon original film that he produced yeah. because of this. You know, they just recently let him. You know what I mean? They they finished with that whole trial, which was unbelievable, bro. It was so so dumb the whole process but watching that when it first came out and then all of a sudden I, I i see a post on instagram and it was it was one of your photos uh yeah the nightmares yeah and i thought it was so amazing i was like man this is so sick so i started looking through your stuff and then i was like wow man this would be a, this would be cool to um to get to know you a little bit more you know what i'm saying and see where where the, the process and stuff so it's it's pretty cool I, li I like what you do, man, and hopefully when we sit down here now in the, in the coffee shop, we'll, we'll get to chat a little bit more, you know? Yeah. But we're here, we're heading down right now, so keep watching, man. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, you still got time to subscribe. 
like, share, leave a comment. If you got some questions for my man right here, put them in the in the comments as well. And hopefully we can get to all of them. Um, I'm, I'm not guaranteeing we'll get every single one, but if you put some questions in there that you may have, it'll be a cool time to do it. But we're on our way to the coffee shop, so stay tuned and keep watching. Arrive to the coffee shop, Three Bridges. This is a coffee shop located in Shelton, Connecticut. It's a it's a nice little spot. The ambiance is really good, um, and we have here a friend that I just met today, Andrew Shavers, um, who's an artist. If you don't know who he is, check out his uh, Instagram, Art of a Giant. Right, yeah. Art underscore. Oh, underscore, uh, underscore, a underscore giant, yeah. There you Just go. Just type in Andrew Shavers and all. And it'll come up, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we're, we're going to have all this information um, we're going to have under the description of this video. But we just wanted to get to little, a little um, snippet of who he is, what he does, and, and you know how he has made it to where he has made it right now with, with his art. And but you do more pastel paintings, right? Oil pastels and color pencils. And color pencils. Yeah. So how's, how's that been? Like, did, were you always like so passionate about drawing and about art? Well, at first it was a hobby, more, more like so. Uh, I started like when I was seven, just doing stuff and continuously doing stuff as hobbies. Like right. My favorite cartoon characters and stuff like that. And, um, just basically going with things I love to do and what inspires me, what I see on TV, that inspires me. Right. So I would draw like, you know, like little like 90s figures, like. Ninja Turtles, stuff right. like that. Like started off little stuff, small stuff. Yep. And then um, I just developed a passion for it. You know, I just continuously did it and did it. But it was just a hobby for me at that time. You right. know what I mean? I did it when I wanted to. Oh, okay. Um, so really it started to venture at seriousness when I was uh, around six years ago. Um, I was going through some hardship, um, a lot of hardship with my uh, family and everything. So um, I picked back up the habit again, but seriously, you know, um, I started to develop it um, again in my life. So um, I started college, uh, did college for a year. Um, it really wasn't my thing. I didn't, I didn't find to pursue it. I didn't, didn't want to do yeah. what I was majoring in. Right. So uh, I came back home, started the jobs, jobs and jobs, and, you know, like I said, I developed a hardship, you know, right. uh, you know, after marriage with uh, other family issues, not my, my wife and oh, my okay. wife in general, yeah. but other issues, okay. as that, you know, what left me stressed out, you know what I mean, stress and everything, but yeah. art, I turned to as my therapy, Okay. you know, that was my therapy to go to, so, um, I'm a big Giants fan, so how Art of the Giant came to be was, okay. was I took Giant, I took the word Giant, so I was like, well, how can I incorporate this with my art? So I, I literally took, you know this phrase, Heart of a Giant? Right. So I, I took that out, the H-E out, right. and put Art of a Giant. Yeah, so I yeah. just like, I went with that and I ran with That's that. That's cool. You know what I mean? So, um, and I collected things personally by painting stuff and painting figures of giants players i loved that you looked up that to I and, loved stuff, and right. stuff like that so i, I love football football is my thing you okay know? yeah um, i'm a new york giants fan yeah too. i love football i mean not, yeah. not so right now yeah, I mean, yeah, not doing yeah. so well but, right but if you're a fan, you're a fan, yeah, man. That's a, a hard, right. Man. That's it. Hard, no, that's cool, man. That, yes. That's great. And so, sometimes we get um, um circumstances that take you into certain places in our life, right? That we don't even mm -hmm. know sometimes. And it's you said, you know, you had a circumstance, but it took you to 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 find something that you were you weren't 100 sure Absolutely. of it, and it just started developing it, right? Absolutely, man. Um, I've always I've, I've always um, had a had a talent there, right? As far as art. Um, but I never knew how far I could go with it. You know what okay. I mean? Um, but yeah, like I said, like, um, so I started to do different things to separate myself from others. You know what I mean? So I work in the school system as a full time job, as a paraprofessional. So I see books and stuff all yeah, the time. Yeah, okay. And there, that's what I wanted to get and to. I see books and I see maps i see old history maps and stuff like that so i started with maps i started drawing like figures with maps so i started um like say for instance if i see a map of chicago i would 
draw Michael Jordan on it. That's the first thing I think of Chicago, like Chicago Bulls, Michael Jordan. Yep. You know, so I, I would draw like figures of him on it. And then it caught certain teachers' eyes and stuff when they seen my artwork. And um, they seen a lot of potential. And one teacher named Danae Young, she literally was like, why don't you do something on a dictionary? That'd be cool. Like you're doing stuff on all different things. Okay. So why don't you do something on a dictionary? It's like, oh, you know, right idea. So yeah. I started scrolling through these dictionaries, stuff like that, and I started looking at words, specific words that I feel incorporated what I thought at the time for that word. So um, anything that would come to mind to me based on that word, right. I would draw it on the dictionary. Okay, so, so that's what that's how that's everything. How so it, it came all, off from a teacher from just a sparking teacher that. Just sparking a, a little idea mm -hmm. of me incorporating it into a dictionary. Yeah, I, I love that. And if yep. if you if you haven't seen it yet, what what he does is he draws these images, paintings, on the words of a, of a dictionary, but the word actually defines what, what that, that image, image is. is. Correct, yeah. right? Absolutely. So yep. if you're like, I like the one that you did too with um, a Tuesday. Which is from LeBron, right? With yeah, LeBron, yeah, like the yeah, Taco, yeah. Tuesday Taco Tuesday type Tuesday. of thing, right? Yep, yep, so if yep. you're a big basketball fan yeah. and you know LeBron, and if you're a big LeBron fan, you would know what Tuesday represents yep. based on, on the drawing and on the word. And I thought that was so clever, yep, man. Yep, yep. Because th there's another artist that I follow also that he grabs, I, I forgot his name, but I'm not sure if you know. He takes like magazines and he like wets the magazines. Uh -huh. He throws them on the wall or something like that, and like collages, kind of. Right, like he does huge collages, bro, with like just magazine, like pieces of magazine. He just rips them apart, mm -hmm. wets them, and then he throws them on the on the wall and starts like cra doing some crazy oh, wow. paintings with it, bro. And you're like, what the heck? But when he's done with it, he starts like it dries off. It's like a drying uh, period that the yeah. that the uh, magazine paper just like dries. It and becomes really hard, yeah. and then he rips out certain pieces that he doesn't need, and he oh, just, wow. you know, it goes based on what he's what he's trying to do at that yeah, moment, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, but yeah. dude, the guy is unbelievable, man. Yeah, it's cool. There's another guy that that I follow also that he um he like the last I think one of the last videos that he did I I think he's from Africa, and um um from Ghana or some of that. Oh, he, I know uh, who you're talking Bao, about. Bao, 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 um, I know exactly who you're talking about. He. He'll take like objects, like he'll take like a tennis racket, right? And he'll he'll spray he'll spread, it. He'll draw the figures, and he does it upside down, and then yeah. all the, and he rotates it back, and you're like, what the? Like heck? he'll draw like so, like he'll take the object, and the object symbolizes that person, like right. uh, Serena Williams. He'll take a tennis right. racket and draw Serena Williams with the tennis racket. So it I've represent. Seen, I've seen that's pretty inspiring. He's, right, it's I, dope. I follow him as well. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah. His name is yeah, Bao. He's dope. It's dope. It's yeah, dope. so it's so it's cool that that you took you you know upon yourself to mm -hmm. well first of all you need somebody to believe in you right you need somebody to just like give you that spark that also spark. like you know we always need somebody to yeah, absolutely say you know what you got you got something there you should just figure it out and then it's up to us mm -hmm. how we go about it you know afterwards you know so that you, you you took it and you were like you know what I'm yeah, let, let me run, run with, with that it. and run all your pages it. there and I'm like wow man and it's it, to be honest it inspired me as yeah. well. Thank not you. not only in in art but just in the creative world in general like mm -hmm. we're we're god created us and and you know i have a strong faith in god like and us. and and i'm like you know what god created us in such a way that that he gave us these different abilities to create and mm -hmm. build and we can go as far as our mind takes us to to create you know Absolutely. what i mean so when when i started looking at your your page and seeing all the things that you were doing i was like wow this is like so amazing that you just like you set up the, you 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 created a new category of art you know what you did with the yeah, dictionary it's yeah, like dictionary yep, yep, art yep, you know what yep, i mean and, yep. and that's what i like that we can just open up new sectors of things if we just put ourselves into it yep. to create it you know so how, how do you how do you feel how do you get inspired now when you're drawing or you decide to you know what let me just go to this do you look up oh, a word for us or are not, you just it's not even that it's like Sometimes it's what's trending mm -hmm. at the time, and then it's sometimes it's when, like, I'll, my mind just goes several places, man. And if I look at the dictionary and I see a word and it captures my eye and I look at the definition, I'm like, wow, 
so I know exactly what to do with it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yes. I, I, I know exactly what to do with it. Like, I'll, like I'm a big 90s guy. I'm, okay. I grew up in 80. Yeah. I was in 85, man. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I, I love 90s old old school stuff. Right. Like, um, like I'm actually working on a, a child's play piece because I, because I seen the word child's play and I, first thing I thought it was Chucky. Oh, okay. So, okay. You know what I mean? So yeah. I, I thought of that and. I'm actually working on a piece like right now with that. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. incorporate it like that, just from words, just words that come out. And then it's crazy. It's just I don't know. It's the way my mind works. Right. Like I, like I said, like I'm a big Meek Mills fan. You said right. you ran across. Yeah. You you ran across and page, so I knew Dreams and Nightmares was his album title. Right. So once. I, I, I was like, wow, dreams and nightmares. So I did a whole series on that. Right. So I, I did one piece still where he during the police brutality right, I situation, saw that one. Yep. which you've seen on the video. Yep. And then I incorporated his signing with with Jay Z. Right. Which was a uh, another was a dream. Scene. Yeah. Which was a dream. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a dream of his. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I wanted to tell a story with it as well. I like yeah. to dabble with it and tell stories. Yeah, that's you know? that's great, man. I I I that one to me was what really yeah. got me because I was I'm I'm big with Meat Mill too and mm -hmm. and just his. Not only in his music, but where he was going business-wise, and and Absolutely. how his life, how he grew up, and you know he's a big advocate. You know what he's I'm saying? Heroic. Where, uh, he's yeah, heroic. He's he's heroic. You know he's doing so many different types of things, which I I like people that are not just involved in one thing, but they try to expand. Like I said, you know when we were driving, like stretch ourselves so mm -hmm. we can figure out, you know what we're capable of doing. You know what I'm saying? What we're able to to create and and do. You know to actually impact because i believe he's be he's of impact i believe mm -hmm. he's a guy that's also of impact absolutely and um i did i i also believe that you're of impact as well because Appreciate you. you're when people see you as far as far as creative artists that mm -hmm. draw and that paint they can be like wow you know what i mean like i can do other stuff for, with my stuff you know mm -hmm. what i mean like not just drawing on a canvas but you took it to a you whole level let, yeah, let, let me draw on the dictionary yeah, you know what i'm saying yeah, who yeah. thought about that yeah. you know what I mean? you did <laughs> yeah, and it came yeah, up yeah. you know and I was talking to a friend of mine, a really close friend, and he I actually interviewed him in the previous episode. Okay. Joseph S D, man. He's a he's a dope local rap artist also. This he inspires me as well. Mm -hmm. Um but you know, I believe that that we have dreams and ideas that, that are placed in us and if they're placed in us, mm -hmm. it's there because we we're we're able to fulfill it and accomplish it. Absolutely. You know? Um, and you know that's what that's what you did. You know you you took something, you you had an idea, mm -hmm. you stuck with it, and you started yeah, doing it. You know what I mean? Run with it, man. You that's know, what you do. That's it, man. Once you grab it, you you started gravitating to it. I see all the all the all the paintings that that you got. You know, and it's hard for artists to find their niche mm -hmm. and what 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 their main focus is. It's right. hard. It's hard right. to do that. You know. Yep. Um, and, I'm, and I'm fortunate enough to have found my niche. You know, yeah. something that I can, my my content, which I, I'm fortunate to find my content. Right. You feel what I'm saying? In general, yep. just overall. Everybody looks up yeah, there. Cause yeah, because a lot of people don't, Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't see a lot of people doing what I do. Right, so no, not not at all, I, I haven't seen it. I don't see yeah. a lot of people doing it. Yeah. That's not to be cocky. Right, anything. right, of course not. That's not cocky, yeah. I'm taking yeah. away from anybody else's it's time. It's just being different, that's but it. it's just different, yeah. and I, that's what I want to do. I yeah. want to separate myself from other artists. Yeah. And I want to keep at, have people asking questions, why? Yeah. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing yeah. this? All right, yep. let me tell you why. why. Exactly, it comes from a place. Everything comes from that specific place of ours, you know? Yep. If, 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 if there was like somebody watching this right now, they're an artist, they're, well, they're local also, they're, they're trying, they're, mm -hmm. you know, what type of advice would you give a person that's in art or, or in the creative sector of just, you know, what, 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 what type of advice would you give them as far as like, you know, what, what they're doing right now if they're watching this video? Keep going and keep doing what you're doing. Don't ever let anybody tell you to stop what you're doing. And once you stop, you never know how far you got. And that next person that sees it, you know what I mean? They'll probably be like, oh, wow. You know what I mean? Just keep going and continue to do what you do. Continue your niche. Separate yourself from other artists. Right. Separate yourself. Yeah, that's a good one. Separate yourself. Thing. Yep. You have to be unique with it. You know, mm -hmm. everybody's, everybody's their own person. So bring that own person, yourself, out. 
and show the world. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. I like that. It's it's good, man. Again, this is Andrew Shavers, Art of a Giant. Yep. He has awesome work. Um, just to plug him in as well, a lot of his work now that he's doing, he also has a, a merchandise of clothing, some t-shirts with his pieces on there yep. that look pretty fire. All this information is going to be in the description of, of this video. I want you to look at it, you know, let's support one another. I believe in that, like I was saying before, Likewise. you know, just supporting one another, getting to know one another, um, and and just, you know, being of influence, you know, to, to a younger generation that's coming up, you know, not knowing what to do. And you touched the topic that that um, I fell into also when it came to school. Um, my wife is a teacher, right? Mm -hmm. If I tell her school is garbage, you know, she'll be watching this video right now. She'll yeah. be like, I can't believe you just said that. But... I'm not a I'm not against school, but I don't think school is for everyone. You know what I mean? And I think you know once you one I, I've tested it out, and I was like, you know what? It's not it's not working for me. You know? But I tried something yeah, else, and you, you know, and it worked. Yeah, it worked out. You know what I mean? So yeah, I started doing other things, and, and it worked out. So I, I agree with what you said in, in that point. And um, um, again, man, I just want to appreciate you. Shout out yeah. to my wife, too. Yeah, yeah. You'll be watching this right now. I love you. Yeah. <laughs> you got, you, you have to. You, can, you have to. Because I'm pretty sure no, she has pushed you. she's been my you, biggest support. Right? She's yeah. been my biggest support yep. through this whole process with everything. Mm -hmm. right? and, my wife has been the same that's thing. that's no cap. For real. Yeah. That's real. That's in real. parentheses and with exclamations and everything. Absolutely. Shout out to his wife. Absolutely. Um. But yeah, bro, I, I just I just wanted to um to connect with you, man. I, I know we, we hit each other on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I was actually surprised you you reply back because yeah, I, I yeah, reach yeah, out to yeah. a lot of different people. Yeah, yeah. And um, um being that you replied back, I was like, you know what I mean? I like this, and bro, I had no idea you were in Stratford, bro. Bro, I know, right? It's a small world. Small bro. world, dude. It's a small world. So best believe we're gonna still stay in contact. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Bro. I would love to continue to see what you're doing as you continue to grow with your business and all, all the stuff man. that you got going on. You like that? Um, like yeah, bro. But but definitely, bro. I'm gonna give you 100%. You got a friend in me right now. You know what I'm saying? Just a new friend added to your to your Absolutely. list. Um, and for those watching, I want to thank you again. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, like, comment. You know what I'm saying? DM us. Hit him up. Also, if you got some questions for him, let us know what what you got going on. And if you're a person that's in the creative arts and and you want to join us in a coffee break, hit me up as well, man. But until then, stay tuned and remember, never settle with being good when you've been meant to be great. Later.